well it's the end of March and it's definitely the peak of the raw. The stags are spending more time outside and it's been the wettest summer and start to autumn I've ever been involved in. We've had our wet weather gear on every single day. The wet weather hasn't stopped. We've been here for a good two and a half weeks and it is wet, which is good because we tread lightly now and there's no sound whatsoever. So what an end to one wet day, I swear today. Like, I got new wet weather boots and I'm wearing all this wet weather gear, which did really well, I have to be honest. But we've seen nothing all day. And just on our last sit over there in that back paddock, we ended up with that young stag. who's really a cold stag, to be honest. But, you know, still a few more days of, of the raw to go and we didn't want to shoot and scare everything off. So, yeah, but nice and wet. The dams are all overflowing. There's creeks that I've never seen before. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, crap. <laughs> the worst thing just happened, I lost my hole little pocket thing that I carry my phone in that and it's pitch black like it's night time and I traveled I think probably 300 meters in the dark but I remembered my footsteps and I can't believe I found my phone <laughs> it had my little Sony action cam in there and it had a few other things but boy, the word relief is an understatement I thought I dropped in one of the dams with that water flowing so strong I thought there's no chance but 
so happy to find that eh? saved me bloody getting all those cards redone and yeah just everything the photos the memories on that on that phone but i found it so i'm pretty wrapped so just to walk back home now <laughs> so this is the first morning it doesn't actually rain <laughs> and there's no rain forecast till about 10 11 so and they're roaring for a change as the light's coming up so we're gonna go out and try our luck hopefully to see something big if not if Sam can smack something with a bow that would be freaking great <laughs> but yeah it's been grueling two weeks so hopefully we'll see something nice Dropped him on the spot. Unbelievable. That's remarkable. We've been searching for him. Bloody mosquitoes. Well, that was a shaky start to the morning. <laughs> um, we ran to that front paddock and I swear we were just like 10 seconds late. The hinds had run into the bush and I just got the back end of the stag running in and yeah, we thought it was over. 
because the wind was not not in favor for where I just shot now and yeah like I said all of a sudden we got here and Sam's like oh it's, it's, it's definitely the same stag that we've been going for this whole trip and the one that we we went for last year as well but and yeah I put a good shot on him and he dropped in his spot he had a, a challenger but I think this guy was way more dominant as soon as he got next to the hinds the challenger ran off but yeah <laughs> it's good to get the monkey off the back <laughs> Well, this is when the real work begins. <laughs> I took this stag at exactly 245 meters and I had my bag to rest on the Kafaru bag, so that was pretty cool. He sort of dropped in his spot, which was even better, <laughs> and we're not far from camp, which is a big bonus. But yeah, we seen this stag last year. Um, I took a shot at him and I missed by a fair way. <laughs> My uh, rifle was out of range and then we went back to the same spot yesterday and realised that he was 405 metres away. That's how far I, sh I took the shot at last year anyway. But yeah, like I said, he's half the distance this year and he's popped up and showed up, which is pretty cool. Um, he's a solid head. Like this is one of the nicest heads I've ever, ever taken and the biggest definitely on this property is a 12 pointer. He's um, really heavy, he's got thick beams. I age him at around six, maybe seven. His coronets are pretty low. But um, yeah, just pretty wrapped to take this guy. Like First one for 2022. And yeah, that's how you want to take him. Like he's really solid. His brow ties are like hooks. You can use them to go fishing. <laughs> Never seen ones that curl up that much, to be honest. But. Yeah, so he's a, he's a solid 12 and I'm pretty much really wrapped with him, I'll be honest. Like, Got to cut him up, cape him. I'll take him definitely to the taxidermist. So being the dominant stag, he had a few rivals in the surroundings and they had no chance coming in. One of them sort of stood his ground and uh, Sam would have got film of him running up to him and he took off but the Seiko 7mm Rem Mag did the job like a scope and yeah when you got good gear it just makes things so much easier you know like from the wet weather gear to the bino harness marsupial kefaro bag which is a good waterproof pack what do you reckon Sam boy Finally a nice mature stag, he's thick, uh, he's got a broken point but definitely worth the taking. Wow. It doesn't get much fresher than this. <laughs> That's walnut straight from the tree. How awesome is that? I'm picking a whole bag full actually. But yeah. It's like amazing just to see it straight off the tree and by far it's my favorite out of all the nuts so straight from the mother tree how cool is that here we go here's another one look at that crack it open and then voila we have a walnut how cool is that afternoon this ain't greed He's got one with the rifle and I'm after one with one of these so it's not greed, it's just my turn. I'm still going to shoot one with the rifle as he goes for the shot. Boom! You're going to hear a cannon go off. <laughs> nah, I'm happy with That's one. greed. <laughs> Shh. 
she is very hard for me to see through those trees. Sam obviously has a better view. If she pops up past that tree, I can get her on camera. Sam's in a good spot, there he goes. So it all depends on timing now. If he gets a break in between the branches, I think he'll take the shot. It's a nice young one for me. It's just the waiting game now. He's waiting, I think, for her to clear those branches. It looks a lot easier from where I am, but when you're shooting with an arrow, it's got to be a clear path. seen a red stag trailing a few females real mature one too um, it's 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 peak of the rut so he's not gonna leave her anyways um, he's just up there over that ridge uh, we can't see him at the moment but I've got my brother to follow me with the camera and we're just gonna go walk up and see if we can see him and see if we can have a crack
yeah, I, 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 that's bow hunting for you. You know what? I'll be, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that it, it, it missed him. It didn't touch him. He lives to fight another day. Last year, the stag that I took, I, I went for him twice before I got him the third time, and I was very crook with myself. This, this, this. Look, I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm, I'm disappointed. I should have got that done. <sighs> My brother keeps telling me be patient. I'm not a good finisher. That's the truth. Um, thankfully, I found my arrow, which puts me at ease. And this time I've learned to just put it behind me, let him go, he'll grow. And um, it was top, top footage. So I'm happy that we, we at least got that. Um, lesson learned. That's all I'm gonna say, really.